he's probably one of the hardest players, in my opinion, to kind of predict in terms of like a number because you yeah. have a sack a game sample size. So if you're going off that, you probably are a little more optimistic. Um, but if you're trying to like adjust that and, and come down to earth a little bit, it's like how how much far down do you go? And here I'll pull this tweet up so you guys can see. But uh, you put that James Houston will have blank sacks of the Detroit Lions in 2024, and people were uh, responding like 17, 10, 2. Uh, Justin thinks he's out of the rotation. 157, wow. 14. According to Jeff, he'll be lucky to Eduardo. <laughs> according to Jeff, he'll be lucky to have two uh, to ten. Nine, eight, sixteen, eleven. Where are you? A lot guys of high at ones, actually. I'm, I'm kind of shocked. Yeah. Where are you guys at with, with James uh, James Houston? You, you think double digit sacks? Over I don't under think nine and a half. Under. I think I wrote down. I just think he gets eight or nine. Like, like I think the sack a game thing was a little. I'm not gonna say like. I don't want to say the wrong word when it comes to it. I just think that was like a like he had a great stretch of football. Like I, I, I looked. What was that? Hard to replicate. Yeah, like extremely hard. Like guys, I, I went and looked at the, his snap count that year when he had those sacks. His first, his first game ever, week twelve, first NFL game ever. He had five total snaps on the defensive side of the ball. Five. Guess how many sacks he had in five snaps? Two. That man was out there had five snaps in his first football game in the NFL. That against the had, Bills. Yes, I believe so. And had two sacks. Then in week thirteen, he had twelve snaps, only twelve with one sack. Then the next week, this is where it got doubled. He went to 21 snaps and only had one, 25 snaps, one, 14 snaps. And then, like, his the, the final week of the season, he had 30-plus snaps and had three sacks. He had three sacks in one game. Like, I don't want to say it, like, affected the numbers a little bit, having three in one game and two in one, another one. But, like, that, you do have to look at that. You're not sitting there saying, like, oh, he's going to do one a game again when he had three in one final game of the season. And, you know, that, that kind of – changes things a little bit there so not final game of the season but because he did hit week 18 but you guys see what i'm saying like that was kind of a little one-off situation there to where they like that was a great stretch of football for him i think he gets eight sacks this year that's kind of my project projection like they need to you know what they need to do they need to not limit him but just put him in like the best situations possible 20 snaps to keep him healthy don't give him 30 40 snaps in the game just give him 15 to 20 snaps great like third down second down when you know it's a pass play go out there get to the quarterback and i think you come out of the season keep stays healthy gets eight sacks i think that's perfect that's all you need out of that man just need eight sacks i mean yeah. I th i'd be thrilled with eight sacks honestly i think he's gonna get six and i don't think it's much to do with him being a bad player i just think it's gonna be hard for him to consistently get in the rotation and get to the quarterback i think with dj reader being improved i think Ali mcneil and aiden hudson a lot of times would get there first and then he's got to fight reps with Mark, Marcus Davenport if they want to put packages out there with Pascal. Again, I'm not knocking the player that James Houston is. I just think there's other guys that will get to the quarterback first, but he can easily prove me wrong. I mean, to your point, Booner, if the one game where he had 30 sacks and he, or 30 snaps and he had three sacks, I mean, that's damn impressive, and that shows you at the very, very minimum he's a good football player. So having him in the rotation is very pivotal, and if he can put up good numbers, it's going to take this defense to another level. Yeah, and you got to think too that the year he was getting um, all those sacks, which was very impressive. But I think that was the year Ali McNeil was hadn't quite breaking uh, broken out yet. So mm -hmm. I think that's really impressive, to be honest with you, because uh, now Ali McNeil's turning into a better and better player. You have Aiden Hutchinson uh, starting to get to that hey, like fifteen sack a year potentially guy. You know, I but I think Davenport. I think the only thing holding Houston back is, and he can't really help it, is his size. Like in terms of you know, he's not. I don't think a three down. Lineman, no. so that's the problem. Yeah, so he's like a pass rush specialist. That's why I think is fair. You guys, I think I'm in. I'm in your ballpark for sacks. By the way, I think it's probably like seven to nine, you know, somewhere in that range. If if nine being an absolute best case scenario, if he yeah. gets double digit sacks, like I will sit here and ap happily take that L because I just think, don't. I just don't see it. If it feels like, like I don't want him to get one a game, I think that's it's impossible. Like that's tough. He that's a TJ Watt number, you know, like Trey Hendrickson. Hey, one every three games is six. Sacks. That's exactly what I was gonna say. I think one, one maybe, three. yeah, and fair. I think that's fine. In a couple double digit games potentially throughout the year to get you to eight, but it's like to me, it's just like two years ago when he played, Hutch was like 
it was his rookie year. He wasn't dominating as much as he was now. I think now, like if you would have seen James Houston a full season healthy last year with Hutch getting all those pressures on these third downs, I think you would have been able to see a couple more times where a guy like James Houston helps Aiden Hutchinson go out there and finish the sack and get to the quarterback and, and finish the job. So that's where I think this year you're hopefully – in those plays, those limited plays that he's in and he's able to get to the quarterback, that you're seeing like that speed from Aiden Hutchinson and James Houston. Like Hutch is going to get pressure no matter what. Now you have James Houston on the other side. That's like a nightmare to me for a quarterback. And you have like a, a Aleem in the middle or a DJ Reader in the middle. That's a nightmare. Like if you really think about it. And maybe James, the reason like he doesn't get as many as he did before is because, you know, Hutch is out there now. Now you have James Houston chasing a quarterback towards Aiden Hutchinson. Like they're, they're, I think it goes a little both ways when it comes down to like the speed of these guys and then the, the, the two guys you can have in the middle there. So I, I think it's actually going to be interesting. I just don't want him to go out there and get, you know, you have a rotation for a reason. You just don't go out there and overdo it with him and put him in situations like last year a little bit. It felt like he didn't need to be in, and it kind of took away from what he was like, what you needed him to do. He's no Sam linebacker. Yeah, like that felt a little – it felt yeah. weird. It felt forced a little bit. It just didn't feel right. And have nobody yeah. else. Yeah, and I see. Um, I want to address this comment because um, um, I think it's a, a fair, a fair thing to say. That guy of North size. Tell it to Freeney and Mathis when they were getting fifteen plus. Oh, well, well, Freeney. two Hall of Famers. Yeah, <laughs> I, and if he <laughs> turns out to be in the, any of those players, that guy of North, I will happily accept that. They're talking about a Hall of, oh, for sure. Hall of Fame talent. And free, I think Freeney's, um, even though he's he was he was bigger in terms of like, um, he was thicker. Yeah, that, yeah. Thank you. He's not like they were. I, I, like, I think Freeney was like six two, maybe six one. I think that's what like James Houston is. Mathis, I I think he was probably around that that same size too. But Houston also is like two forty. I think uh, Freeney was probably like two sixty, two seventy. Yeah, but like Both but, those guys but, up the run too. Exactly. So I, I think against the run, you know, those two are. I mean, they're Hall of Famers, but like on top in terms of them against the run, I think they're a little better than James Houston. Not saying James Houston can never get there. You know, I just I don't know. That's just something I, I from what I've seen so far from James Houston, I think he's just going to be a pass rush specialist, which is a good thing. You know, yeah. it's a great. I mean, what you wanted to add 10 sacks, right? This year, I think that James Houston, it's like, that's going to help you get closer. Like, add a couple from Hutch, four or five from Hutch. Yeah. You obviously yeah. have to replace the other guys that left, the Acora brothers and Charles Harris. Like, I think those guys might have combined that I went over earlier, like seven. Three, probably, or something. I, I, yeah, I think the, the DNs that left, I think it was like six and a half or seven. So it's like, all right, now you just replace that with James Houston. And then you still have, you know, Davenport hopefully add some. And uh, same with the commish. And, and you just add a few. Makai Wingo. Uh, Jeff Olson says, y'all need to slow down the expectations on James <laughs> Houston. Title, I, about he's, him. He's, I feel <laughs> like we are we are home back on that. Well, Anthony. The Zettel that uh it my, yeah <laughs> Zettel. Great season. Yeah, yeah. Zettel dude, you know, that's a lightning in a in a bottle or whatever the hell that was. I mean that <laughs> I don't think I don't think James Easton is that or like he has one season, the rest of his career he's just no impact. Like I, I don't mm -hmm. think that's the case. Uh but I am with Jeff a little bit. We gotta like if you're saying 14 sacks or you know 13 sacks, I in my opinion, I I just I that's where I'm like. Uh, I oh, uh, like, do you remember last year? I hate to call some people out from where we were last year, but there was people that actually said that he was going to have more sacks than Aiden Hutchinson, and like 15 plus. And I was whoa. Who said, who, who said that? I'm either? not going to say names. I'm not oh. going to say names. There I there were some people it. that were. I respect it. It, it was bad. Oh, he's was typing. Like, <laughs> he's going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, put it in, I might have put it in our private chat oh, just so you guys know. Oh, I get it now. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm not going to say who it was. But, but there was just they, people that, that were really real hyping thing? it up. And I was like, all right, let's 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 like try and be a little realistic around here. A little Like, come on. I This comment, I can go to Chef Luke's hotel. He probably has a second kitchen in his base. My Nona has a second kitchen. That's a real fucking thing, by the way. Yeah. She's got yeah. two kitchens. Oh, we got to get I gotta have another kitchen. You have to. Uh, Coach Rock 37, who has more sacks, Davenport, Houston, or Betts? Uh, <laughs> okay. I like, how Coach, I like how Coach just kind of like put in Betts in there. Bats, just every of, time. That, that, you that, love Betts, bro. Can, when we do this exercise, is everyone healthy? 
Yeah, we'll games. pretend that everybody's healthy. 17 games, I'm taking Marcus Davenport. I'm going to take James Houston. If we're talking about sacks. If we're talking health, staying healthy for 17 games, Marcus Davenport's proven more than James Houston. I'd say about the same. I'd disagree. <laughs> nine and a half sacks in 11 games, right? Was that was that, that Marcus Davenport? Right? Nine and a half sacks in 11 games. James Houston, how many sacks in how many games? Eight and seven games for one year, and then he's only played like – he has eight total in his career. I'm going to – ah, this is Come on, Jeff, Jeff, you can't because me and you have had this conversation before. I know. I know if you're telling a lie or if you're telling the truth, so you, you can't – No, I'm hey. – No, I know. I know what your answer would be. You're, I feel like right now you're no, trying no, to – No, 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 no. I'm trying to think. Like, I know what it is. They're both healthy. I'm, here's where I'm at with it, all right? I think Davenport has a lot – there's upside there, absolutely. Don't but like. In terms of like sacks, like that is gonna really get James sacks. Houston's like that is his like specialty is getting sacks. So I that's tough. I hate that. Um I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna I'm gonna go Davenport. I'm gonna go Davenport, not confidently. I'm gonna go Davenport, not confidently. But, but I think they're gonna be around the same, if I'm being honest, boys. I think they'll be around the same. I think Davenport, if he's fully healthy, can get like six to seven sacks. I think Houston can get like six to seven, eight, nine sacks. So, like, I, I don't think, think it's fair. really a – but, again, is he healthy? Which you told me he was. <laughs> you told me he was. So, hey, I'm, I'm going with the – I don't know. Ah, Just, I don't know. The last thing that – like, like, like When that. I think of Marcus Davenport, I think of a guy who stops the run, sets an edge, and then gets to the quarterback. I think that's what I think of Marcus Davenport. As with James Houston, it's I just, think of getting to the quarterback. Can't set an edge really. That's where can't I was struggling with it. Yeah. It's like yeah. it's like who gets more three three pointers made. It's like a sharpshooter off the bench who strictly shoots threes, or guys playing forty minutes a game that takes them has to just yeah. take a high amount of shots just because. If they, if they both stay healthy, I would think Davenport gets the most snaps. Well, yeah, you should, yeah. I hope so. So that's I why really I think good. that's why I think he would he would end up getting the most. Too. That's it's why I think argument. he ends up getting the most sacks. Is he's going to be on the field probably more James Houston situationally. And then, you know, I, I don't know. I think they're both like if they say if they both stay healthy, what a great what a great defensive edge on the other side. of Like, I think that's best. Like, well, not well, like or oh, not like one of the best out there. But I'm saying like the reason you that's hate the weakness Davenport, of that defense. The reason you ha- it is it, it's a weakness of the team, to be honest. But the reason you hate Davenport so much is because he can't stay healthy. But if he finds a way to play a 17 game season and throw the playoffs, just, then okay, that's that's big time. That's 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 oh, big time. Just, He's not going to sit here and be like an absolute dude, but that's what we need. We need someone over there better than Charles Harris.